produced a UN report in 1996 on the impact of armed conflict on children and recommended that all gender-based violence during conflicts be prosecuted as a war crime. Nineteen years later, she believes little has changed within the UN system. These are women and children who have been brutalized by war. And these are people who are eager exactly to find from who represent the so-called international community the support to say, it's okay. Now we are going to start anew. We are going to have peace and pain is not going to be part of our life again. And this, exactly the same people who infringe. Code Blue has called for an amendment to the 1948 Convention on Immunity for UN civilian personnel to exclude cases of sexual abuse and exploitation. Preliminary findings by the campaign have found that the vast majority of alleged abuses are by non-military personnel and a smaller percentage by the peacekeepers themselves. <laughs> The UN says it has a zero-tolerance policy against sexual abuse by all personnel in its missions, but waiving immunity remains the prerogative of the Secretary-General. In 2014, 79 cases of sexual misconduct were brought against UN peacekeeping personnel, 69% of whom had immunity. Sherwin Bricepies, SABC News, New York.